Morning all. We're still in lockdown so I'm getting bored but I have something very exciting for you today. An unboxing of the Para Wasp. Hold on. Let's have a look in the new <clears throat> box. Ah! What's this? It's in bits. Oh no! Well, hang on, we'll put it together. I was inspired by um, a video by the great Alberto Parra, who made this, taking the bits and putting back together one of his engines with only one tool. Well, I'm going to beat that Alberto. I'm going to put it together with no tools. Let's see how we get on. If I can open the bags. Is it only me that is enabled for opening a zipper bag? Uh, it's well oiled, look. Like me. Well, here we have. Para wasp. Crankcase. Venturi needle valve. Roller bearing in the front. Roller bearing in the back. Uh, ABC liner. No, it's not. That's the crankcase. Beautiful job. Number 64, made in Europe. Remember that. What else? Brass chrome liner. Superbly made. Schnurner porting, like anything else made by Alberto. Little notch in the top that locks into the cylinder liner so you don't get it wrong. Look at that crankshaft, baby. And the size of that port. I'll make it whiz. Counterbalance crank. Nice web fused in. Lovely job. Piston. Lightweight piston. Look at him. Lightweight piston. Seriously strong conrod. Brass, brass bushed. Two holes for lubrication there and probably some at the top I wouldn't know. Craft a little mark on there so that goes at the back so the crankshaft, so the conrod and the piston go in the right way. This has had a little bit of use but notice the nice rim on the top of the piston, clean as a whistle. Lovely job. Bits and bobs. Back plate screws in. Cylinder head screws on. The diesel head, this one, I've shown you the glow head. Prop driver, I think you call that. Collet. Prop nut. So, let's see if we can get this back together. Hold your patience, what do we do first? Crankshaft in, I think. That just drops in. I did, I got that. Lovely job. Free as you like. Beautifully engineered. Crank web top dead center. Pop in the piston. This is the tricky bit. Hold your wish. Pop in the piston. Let's go, I'll tell you. Hang on. Fingers and thumbs when the camera's on. Down, 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 down. Patience, please. Yeah. Steady hands, but incompetent. Oh. Get on your swine. Oh, voila. Okay. 
cylinder line. Line it up. Notch at the back, I think. Cylinder line. How's the camera on doing? Amateur. Mm -hmm. Nearly as bad as the engineer. I don't think we're in there. As I say, all done. There we are. We're in. Okay. Liner in. Da -da -da. Doobie once it's in. Back plate on, I think. You can do all this with one tool which fits those recesses on the back plate. But for today's job, we don't need to do that. Let's do this. You always should have an oily rag or even a clean rag when you're doing this. Alright, what next? Pop on the cylinder head. Are you alright there, Clive? Getting bored yet? Uh, there we go. Cylinder head on. No, it isn't. It should be. Uh, let's call that on. Uh, call it on. Driver on. That. Voila. All done. No tools. That is the best engineered engine I have seen for a long time. That includes Oliver's, Rivers. What else? I've never had a Rothwell, but you never know. One day. Anybody got one out there? Send me a Rothwell. I'll be very happy. Okay. Goodbye. Turn it off, Clive. Now.